Hi class, in this video I want to do a quick introduction to the fundamental theorem of algebra and complete factorization. Okay, so the following theorem is the basis for much of our work in factoring polynomials and solving polynomial equations. So this is the fundamental theorem of algebra. Every polynomial that's in this form right here, this a n x to the n plus a n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 down to a n 1 x plus a 0, okay, with complex coefficients. So think about what a complex number is. Okay, so we're saying now when their coefficients are that, all right, so with complex coefficients has at least one complex zero, okay? So because any real number is also a complex number, the theorem applies to polynomial with real coefficients as well. So we have this um, complete factorization theorem here, okay? And it says, if P of X is a polynomial with degree N greater than or equal to one, there exists complex numbers, A, C1, C2 to Cn, such that you can factor this polynomial as listed here, okay? Let's do an example of this so you can see what I'm, see what we're talking about here. So let's let P of X be this polynomial, X cubed minus three X squared plus X minus three. First thing I want to do A is I want to find all the zeros of P. And then once I find all the zeros of P, how can I use those to do the complete factorization of this polynomial? Okay. So the first thing you're going to do to, to find the zeros of this polynomial is to factor this. Okay. So you're going to factor by grouping. What you're going to do is you're going to group the first two terms together, factor out an X squared. You're going to group the last two terms together. You can factor an invisible one there. Okay, so when you do that, they both have an x minus 3, so that comes out. So you're left with x minus 3 times x squared plus 1. And now what you're going to do, so we find the zeros of this polynomial by setting each factor equal to 0. So I'm going to set this equal to 0 and solve it. Okay, so to solve this, x minus 3 is equal to 0. You get x is equal to 3. To solve this, all right, um, when, when, when x squared plus 1 is equal to 0, you subtract the 1 over you get x squared is equal to negative one, then you take the square root. So x is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative one. So our other our other values here are x is equal to the positive the square root of negative one, which is i, or negative the square root of one, which is negative i. Okay, so we see that x is equal to three is a zero. Setting, as I said, those equal to zero, we see that x is equal to plus or minus i is also a zero. So this polynomial has three zeros, okay? And the zeros are three, one, and minus i. So you can see the three is a real number, and then we have two complex numbers here, okay? The i and the minus i, the imaginary unit there. All right, so since we know the zeros, okay, we can factor, all right, looking back, once you found all the zeros, okay, a, c1, c2, it's, it's, it's x minus c1 minus c2, so on. So I put x minus the positive 3 I have, x minus the positive i, and x minus minus the i I found. So this double negative will become positive, and this right here is the complete factorization of this polynomial. All right, I hope that little short introduction helped.